Hello, everybody, and welcome back to Benjamin Magnus Plays Europa Universalis 4. Now, we are currently sitting as the fourth most powerful nation in the world. Uh, diplomatically, uh, we are definitely orders of magnitude ahead of, of most people working. Actually, I don't know if that's a uh, technically accurate. Now, these are armies. Let's go to back to country and score comparison. So, uh, well... France is over double us. Um, mil militarily, everybody's outstripping us except for England. and But England is outstripping us diplo-wise. Merchants, trade efficiency. Their trade efficiency is a lot higher than mine, interestingly enough. Okay, that might... My trade efficiency might be something we want to work on. Alright, let's make this easy for us. Split in half. Half go up there. Take those guys out. This colony is almost done. This is going to be a very prosperous colony. Foreign trade competition arises. 2.5 mercantilism? Any day of the week, I'll take that. Nice. 52% provincial trade power modifier right now. That is great. Inland bonus. What's the inland bonus? Here a total of 62.5 trade power development base of 689 and 25% from policies and ideas. Best negotiations. All right. Trade efficiency is 110% and that's still not enough. Ahead in Diplotech, control of foreign traders, national trade policy, statute of monopolies, trade company boom. Okay, so that's good. That's pretty good. This one's almost done. Probably just sit here and wait on this. It's Filipino might... Uh, Diplo power is definitely... Uh, I feel like admin and Diplo points, we were talking about this last time, are kind of like neck and neck for how important they are uh, in relation to each other. I feel like there's always things I could do with Diplo power, and there's almost always something I could do with admin power. All right. See, five prestige for that. That's pretty good because that was a very developed area. Very developed. And we're going to... I don't know if I can, but we're going to try to make this... I mean, for it to be... I think for it to be a colony, it has to be in Australia, South America, or North America. Or does it just have to be... If it's, I don't know, I don't ever remember if it's specific areas or if it's just a different continent than your, your home. Because, like, I don't think I could have a colony in Europe. Well, it's not possible. There's no... Whoa, Bohemia, Bohemia what did you do that? Bohemia became powerful. Hungary got gobbled up. Do you have a client state or something? Independence guaranteed by Lithuania. Transferring trade power to Poland. Poland, Veles, Russia. Wow. Hungary, Sweden, Austria, the Knights, and Bavaria. Looks like Lubeck disappeared. What I've never done in this game before? Form Germany. I've never formed Germany before. Looks like the Ottomans gobbled up all the Balkan states. Morocco is expanding south into Sub-Saharan Africa. Very interesting developments. My total income is going down, but that is because I have been drastically increasing the size of my military. And actually, we were doing that because we were planning on going to war with these guys. And we're going to do that right now, I think. Um, let's see. They are military level 22. I think that's par with me. That is the same as me. And I have, they have a better general. I have slightly more men. So I think I think we'll be okay. Let's let's uh, let's do this. It's been a long time coming. They'll actually join the war. Uh, that's gonna be great for me actually. So we're gonna start off by immediate. Oh, you know what? Let's um, let's get our our ships out here. 
We never use them for anything. Might as well. 257. wonder if we'd be able to, to beat them. If they come out. Well, why don't we... Uh... You know what? I forgot. Uh, where was it? Where was it? There was something... Is it Merchants? Let's take it. No. That was... Where is it going to put those ships? That was this one. No. Draft Warships. Start construction of five two-deckers for 0% of the cost in half the time. So... Oh, it stacked them all on top of each other. That's a bummer. All right, let's look at our zero liberty desire. So tax it. Zero liberty desire is wonderful. These people are so happy with me, there's no desire to break away. None. None whatsoever. Well... If it's going to take a while to build those ships, why don't we uh, do it the old-fashioned way as well? Um, let's do like 1, 2, 3, 4. That'd be 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. That's 20 heavy ships right there. Should we... Um, let's do this. Let's detach siege. Let's see if we can stack wipe these guys. I mean, 8,000... If we could wipe out 8,000 men, that'd be great. As long as they don't come come after me. They can't get any further than this. Can't get any further than Tonga. Alright. Wipe those guys out. Stack wiped them. Oh shit. That's exactly what I was worried about. Uh, let's see. Coastline. When are they going to arrive? April 5th. Uh, if I tried to leave... I would leave on April 9th. So, that's, so we're going to have to fight this. Unfortunate. I was worried about that. Uh, if I'm lucky, I can get my guys to retreat. Nope. Don't stack. Oh, they stack wiped me! No! No! Oh, fuck me in the ass. Oh, son of a bitch! They stack wiped me. Oh, those cock goblins. Alright, so, um, this is something. That's happened uh, before. I have absolutely no idea what the prerequisites for stack wiping are. I don't know how that's calculated. But they wiped out 12,000 men, something like that. 10. That's uh, 12, 8. 8 are on their way to join. That's 12 total. I need... I'm almost all of my infantry too. Is that what the thing that sucks about that? Almost all of my infantry bit it. Well, they're not going to get any further than Tonga. They're going to get stuck there. These guys are all the way over here. We can bring them in if we wanted to. Where's my allies? Sitting there? Did they not join in? Oh, I thought they did. All right, well, let's do that. Oh, no, no, son of a... It's creating these units down here. Son of a bitch, I hate that. Oh, it's not, is it doubling doubling them up, too? Yeah, oh, that sucks. I don't want that. Wanted to build them up here. All right, so let's do it this way. Um, let's do a couple mercs. All right, there we go. So we're spending, we're, we're, we're building along the coastline here. All these units. Native assimilation. Uh, lucrative trade, ducats. Local trade power and ducats or diplo power points. Let's take the diplo power points. All right. Wow. It's a powerful siege. I just hope they don't actually siege it down quickly. Son of a bitch, I can't believe they stack wiped me. Alright, where are my allies? Just sitting there. 
Do they not have military access? Oh, okay. Well, what are they doing then? Oh shit, you know what we need to do? Alright, so North African gorillas, East African gorillas, or Central African gorillas? Uh, well, for the sake of role playing this, we're gonna go East African, and we're gonna go African dragoons. And the sons of bitches have gotta get their organization up. Hopefully that uh, survives for a good long time. Prestige and legitimacy, or don't build. Well, that's fine, actually. I mean, the legitimacy wasn't a big deal, but we'll take it. Come on, get back over here. Got to get that organization up to merge. What are we? What are we looking at here? Thirteen thousand, eight thousand, nine thousand. That's more cavalry. We need more infantry. Who's building here? Infantry? Alright, my apologies there. I'm not really sure why, but... My... My audio recording program stopped recording. Having the foggiest idea why. Uh, so the commentary took a little bit of a beating there. 177 days. So... This, this has been a very common running theme in my wars, uh, going into them with very high expectations and uh, really half-assing it. So we got 18,000, 10,000, and 11,000. I want more infantry. get them. Wait for those cannons. Here are my heavies. That's a heavy too. Alrighty. Merge. So now I think we're in a much better situation. I'm not even paying the slightest bit of attention to my force limit, am I? Crushed it. Crushed my force limit. All right, where my my allied army is just sitting there. I don't think they can traverse the uh, the land. I don't think they can make the distance. So we're gonna take Tonga back. Should be able to take it back relatively, at least probably quicker than they took it. Yeah, I can take it back quicker than they took it originally. Again, apologies. Don't know why that happened. It was very strange. I just looked over and it said, "Are do you, are you sure you want to quit?" Um, no, I'm not sure I want to quit. I didn't tell you to stop recording. Development efficiency and efficiency. There, we'll take that. Production efficiency, bond, or number of states. Wow, Jesus Christ, that's a lot of. You, there's so you gotta have so many states, so many. Well, our we teched up, so our infantry and in, and in, was it infantry and cavalry? Yeah, our infantry and cavalry are now more potent than theirs are. We got 20,000, 10,000, 12,000. I like those numbers. Look at trade. I'm gonna take the Diplo points. Come on. Hundred. Okay, it took 177 days for them to take it. it. Took 176 for me to take it back. Okay. Now, are these guys a allied? If we took them out, we might take them out first. That'd be easy. Send that guy off. All right, so we got 42,000 men. I can't believe they stack. I still can't believe they stack wiped that. And this is the Western Indian Ocean. That's over there. This army. Wait, does this army not have a leader? No, it does. That's a big fort. Military leader is dead. Who was that? Was that our our guy with the shock of four? No, that's this guy. 
So we got a blockaded now. That helps out a lot. Those are... Oh, that's Chokwe. That's our, uh, our ally. Natives lose aggressiveness. Trade goods produced goes up. Nice. What siege was that? Oh, shit, son of a bitch. Uh, I was like, where is their army? It's way down there. I can't get down there easily. Moral prices. Holy shit. 44, 46, 52,000 men rise up. Or pay money. Yeah, I'll just pay money. Pay money. And that's that. Come on, 49%. We got this now. If I would stop half-assing my wars, they would go they would go smoother. What are the odds of that happening? I think I'm uh I got to stick around the coastline if I want to stay um out of attrition. All right. So, can we make sure that our allies help us? That'd be great. Trading in spices. So I feel like this is going to go good. Although they have way more morale than me, and I rolled a zero. Mm. All right, Ben. This is this is hideous. I can't believe I rolled a zero. I need a really good roll in the next phase. Six, six to three. All right, if we can get a good roll in the next shock phase, we'll have this. Six to eight? We actually... No, we got it. We got it. We got it. We got it. Okay. We lost 10,000 infantry, 4,000 cavalry. They lost 12,000 infantry, 2,000 cavalry. Uh, and the only thing that we can say now is that if we chase him down, maybe we can stack wipe him. He's going to go to Zimbabwe. Right? No, he's heading up this way. Okay, well, maybe we can siege Zimbabwe, free up this area. Can we get over here? No, we can't. Not not that way. Deny it fervently. Or, let's see, we can take the prestige, hit to uh, legitimacy easier. That was ugly. They must have a lot more tradition than me. My army tradition's never been high. Um, let's actually take a look. The 30. 30's not too bad. An extra seven, yeah. We could actually help that out um, if we wanted to. We could go to construction. And army. And force limit. And that's, well, 360 for two force limit. Oh, it's only 180 if you build it in the, if it's an upgrade. So what's going to happen? Who's going to get what first? All right, where are they going? They're heading here. Are they coming from here or are they going to go this way? I think they're going to go this way. All right, let's pause this and see where they're going. Yeah, they're going to head... They're heading up. They're probably going to go take this guy out. So we'll... Peace off her. Oh, they're saying that they'll... They'll surrender, but no, we don't want that. Are they going to try to take this back? Zero, really? All right, well, we're going to... Let, let, let's race. Let's see who could uh, siege... Who, who could siege faster? 21%. 28%. Come on, Ben, you got this. Oh, they won 92 days. I should probably go over there and help them, but I don't really want to. All right, now, no, let's see. What do they want this? What are they going to see? I want the entire coastline is what I want out of this. I'm not going to settle for one province. All right, so those guys got crushed. Hopefully there's nobody here, and we'll be able to take it back nice and easy-like. We get up here easily? No, we can't even get up there easily. Ah, oh, damn it. 
Oh, my air falls. Oh, this air sucks. So let's pray for their life. And they survived. Okay. Uh, let's go down here and hit them while they are um, trying to get their, their troops back up. This is Highlands, so we should be fine other than the river crossing. Oh, no. Highlands is negative one. I didn't think it was anything. Shit, I'm rolling negative twos. And a zero. And a, oh, a nine. There we go. All right, we lost. <laughs> Man, the losses are mounting, aren't they? All right, let's go back over here and get this one. Problem is, we don't have enough of the country controlled to be able to chase down and stack wipe them. Go two. Oh no. Oh, already, already taken care of. So these two are going. All right, what's our next idea? Ship cost minus 10%. Is that upkeep cost? Or just production cost? Don't know. Lucrative trade. This keeps happening. We're going to take the Diplo points. All right, 85 days. Uh, well, we should be able to drive out their fleet and destroy it. Tax it. We are going to tax tobacco. Now they're... Oh, there's their army right there. All right, I would love it if... They would attack me. As I didn't realize the Highlands was negative, negative one. Negative one, it says it right there. I thought it was zero. We'll cross a river. So you, you have to cross a river to get into Zimbabwe? It's got one, two, three, four. Yes, you 100% have to cross a river to get there. That's what I want out of this war. Require 130, so there. Well, let's humiliate them. War reparations. Money. Well, let's take that. That's what I wanted out of this. So let's send that off. Nice. Alright, so let's take a look at what we grabbed in terms of trade goods. We grabbed ivory, 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 and another gold mine. Turn that and uh, colonize... All right, we're going to turn that into a city. There we go. And wherever our other heavy ships, here they are. I think I built more than I anticipated. All right, so for the first time in a very long time, we're going to drag our maintenance slider on our military down. It's the last time we did that. Ottomans, France, or England? It looks like England is the person to contend with. So the 13 colonies don't like us. Understandable. Let's make sure, merge these guys together. I counted 20. I guess it... Nope, there was a transport in there somehow. My other transports are over here. So let's just tell them all to go over there. And uh, I want to keep this military, but we're over on our military maintenance right now, our force limit. Um, so we're going to need more of these conscription centers, right, like that. That'll help out a little bit. Uh, when those build, it'll increase our force limit, which will reduce our how far we're over it. 
Ooh, God, lose stability, or actually that's less points than losing a stability point, so we'll take that. 35, 35, 35, that sucks. Alrighty. Doing pretty well. But those guys are pissed off at me. We were allies for a very long time. Now, I want to take a look at my inflation real quick. Stan Trade Company. Sure. Well, first let's take this. And I wanted to look here. Economy. This is still going down. And we're getting four, so... We're now getting gold from two mines. Cool. That's okay. Just, just some ungrateful natives. Tan is a colony now. Uh, is a province now. No longer, no longer a fledgling colony. All right, I'm gonna send you up there, and you're gonna, gonna sit there and guard it. And we're gonna merge these guys together. <clears throat> we have a loan out, don't we? We do. Fortunately, a lot of these places do not want to be converted, but we'll see what we can do. How many, there's, what is there, two more idea groups in the maritime ideas? We have excellent shipwrights, which is naval leader maneuver. And then after that is, yes, there are two, naval fighting destruction. So Indonesian charters on here. I thought there was another one. I'll take the unrest. Oh, we re renewed our loan. Whoops. At least they converted these places, right? Yeah, they did. They took out the Sunnis. Core. Core. Colony. And so we have one colonist sitting around doing nothing again. You're going to go over here. Send. I'm going to start working on the Philippines. And we should have... Oh, here it is. Uh, we only have 9% of the power in this node. That's okay, though. Um, we just got here. I could transfer it down. Can I transfer it? Black? Whoa. Oh, shit. Oh, my good leader died. Oh, he was so good. Now I'm stuck with this shithead. Two, zero, zero. I actually try to kill this guy, too. Oh, he's 53. Maybe he'll die. Maybe he'll die. Naval race versus England. Fleet equal or larger to England's of 241. Um, I don't think I'm close to that right now. I am at... Well, actually, I'm at 222. Morale of navies. You have sailor modifier, yearly naval tradition. That's only for 10 years. We're going to take the colonized one. I'm glad I gobbled up the coastline here. Uh, I feel like it should belong to me. It rightfully belongs to me. I have 100% of the power in this node. I've never done that before. 100% of the power, but we are just about out of time. If you have enjoyed this episode, just drop me a like. Leave me those comments right down below. And if you're interested in more Benjamin Magnus plays, you're over Universalis 4. Just subscribe to this channel, and I will see all of you next time.